Hello again everybody, this is Joseph and this is going to be about a four or five part series on how to identify components under the hood automotive and I got a lot of emails about people how to figure out which is electrical which is vacuum hoses and we'll go over hopefully and you'll understand it uh, and I'll try to simplify as much as I can we always start obviously from the fuse over here now how do you know something is electrical wiring or vacuum or anything like that well obviously this is coming from the fuse so this is the electrical line the harness and you see it's shielded protected all the wires are inside and if you want to make sure you see that part of it goes to these are sensors which we're going to go over part of the harness is going to this is a mass airflow sensor and the other one is intake air temperature sensor so you know that this must be electrical since it's going to sensors and then you have it going obviously to other parts from the fuse panel itself as you can see over here if you are ever in doubt see over here going to the motor for the wiper the pump the horn over there and you can see that wires come out to make the connection and if you open it you can see inside there's wires inside the harness and this goes throughout the whole vehicle to the rear as you see over there also going to the secondary air pump over there so therefore as you can see that's how you know now and you get a closer look at it right here as you see the harness over here this is part of the harness over here going to obviously the brake fluid uh, which is a brake fluid switch tell you how much the brake fluid is two wires gray and purple over here with the connector obviously so this harness feeds off to a lot of different arteries or veins as, as you want to call it now how do you go about identifying components well we know there's sensors and the first one over here mass airflow sensor how do I know it's a mass airflow sensor well this is the intake air temperature right here right here the air, air filter is located in here goes through here mass airflow sensor has to be next to the air intake chamber and this is it so therefore that's already point one so we know it might it might be something related to the air that's how we know it's a sensor related to air can it be the intake air temperature no intake air temperature has only two wires as you can see over here mass airflow sensor has an electrical connection but also it has three wires if you remember my video one is ground one is about 12 volts or some of 5 volts and it has a signal feedback to the PCM the question was raised how do I know if this goes to the body control module or the PCM if this has something to do with air or engine performance it goes to the PCM since this has three wires over here as you can see it's the mass airflow sensor because it's related it's right in in the intake air chamber right here as you can see air comes in and it's right here it dictates the density the weight of the air colder air is more denser now air has weight and mass how do you know go on a windy day on a 40 mile an hour wind and you'll see it can knock you over that that's the proof it has weight and a mass sometimes you don't feel it was so used to it but believe me it has mass and weight and that's how the PCM which is the power control module which I'll sh right over there right there right there right there with the heat sink on it and a shield on it that's the computer so everything goes back to the computer now intake air temperature I'm looking for something that's also in the air passageway air chamber when I look over here 
as you can see see it this is the air chamber again I'm looking for two wires well this has two wires so intake air temperature again has a gray as a white therefore this must be intake air temperature sensor it's in the path of the air and number two it has two wires so therefore it has to be that temperature sensor okay if you go about it you see the harness continues on to go on and on and on in there to other sensors so therefore under this once I take this out over here you'll see a TPS sensor and in the next video I'm going to take out the air chamber so you see exactly that's how we go about trying to identify and locate sensors and other things as you see over here you have the vacuum booster over here right where the brake master cylinder is over here and the brake fluid con uh, uh, container over here then you have the brake modulator valve modulator and over here obviously you have this the, the fuse box which I refer to in other videos and we're gonna go now and see the other sensors the intake air temperature this is obviously the TPS once you hit you open up throttle a throttle plate is in here when you press the, the with your foot you're activating the the cable which opens this up right here that allows more air into the manifold into the engine so all of this has to do with air has to do with air let me go away has to do with air and we're gonna go through this is also this is a compressor obviously this is 13 millimeter bolts if you want to take them out and we'll go through the lines in a different video but as you can see there are sensors here's again the harness see the electrical harness that's a map sensor the map sensor its purpose is to go and to make sure about vacuum how much vacuum there is in the engine and pressure you know when you open up throttle which is right over here underneath this you're letting more air in outside is atmospheric pressure related to vacuum inside the engine and it it tells the computer how much load can the load conditions are based on open throttle closed throttle load conditions and that's why anything related to engine performance goes back to the PCM as you can see over here right over here this goes to if you follow it it goes to the distributor therefore it means that therefore it has something to do with spark this is the ignition control module again as you see this is the harness feeding it four wires feeding it right here we have also another part of the harness going to this here's the harness going to this and then feeding another part of it so therefore this is the ignition control module and once it gives spark I made a video about this it goes to the distributor which is on the other side so therefore that's how you can tell basically what the where the harness is and where it's feeding yeah PCV valves also and that's how you can figure out what is a harness and where it's going about like we just said over here see the harness see the harness electrical connection over here electrical connection over here as you can see another electrical connection that means it's a harness see all this as you can see see another one over here a connector over here therefore you know it's a harness or electrical wiring 
We're going to go over more things in the next video. I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel. You'll see I have a lot of electronic diagnostics. And I hope you'll find something that's informative and helpful. And we're going to go over much more things, how to identify parts. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, please. Automotive Electronic Schematics by Joseph. Thank you.